NASA will launch its Ionosphere Connection Explorer, or ICON for short, later today. To help us understand the advantages of this instrument is Dr. Alex Young, a NASA scientist. He joins us live from Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. Good morning to you, doctor. And how will this ICON uh, craft study space weather and weather here on Earth? Well, what ICON is going to be doing is taking photos of something called air glow. So this is sort of a red-green glow in the region where we get the aurora, the northern and southern lights. And by studying the fluctuations in this, we actually can study the dynamics of this really, really interesting region, the ionosphere, which is sort of an interface between the upper atmosphere and space. So why is space weather important for, say, space exploration uh, in the coming future, as well as uh, what's going on here in Earth? Well, you know, we have weather in space, much like having uh, weather on the Earth with tornadoes and uh, hurricanes. We have huge storms on the sun, and, and all that energy makes its way, creates an environment ar around the solar system and around the Earth. It's very dynamic. It disrupts communication signals, GPS signals. So for astronauts, we want to be able to communicate with them. So that's very important. And that also has a direct impact on our ability to communicate here on Earth. But also understanding space weather in general helps us understand this very hostile environment so that we can make sure that astronauts have a healthy and safe trip when they go to the moon and beyond. So the ICON is also scheduled to launch around 9.30 tonight, Eastern Time. So why is tonight's launch very unique? Well, um, this is a really exciting experiment. We launch it in a very unique way. It's not sort of the traditional rocket you think of. We actually have a plane, an L-1011, which takes the rocket, which is somewhat like a small cruise missile, up very high in the atmosphere, and it launches from there. And this is typically the way we launch this particular class of mission called the Explorer mission. You guys already have another satellite called GOLD, an ultraviolet imaging uh, spectrograph that's orbiting in the ionosphere as well. So how will this device work with ICON? Well, they complement each other. GOLD gives us a global perspective. It's up much higher looking down on the Earth. And ICON is giving us a much more local, detailed perspective. So the two together give us this very, very unique from the up close to the very far view to understand this really exciting region of the atmosphere. It's amazing because all this eventually helps us in forecasting day-to-day -day weather, right? Absolutely, and one of the things that's exciting is we've come to understand that weather here on Earth actually impacts space weather. This is one of the things that ICON and GOLD are helping us understand, that the weather here moves upwards and impacts the weather in this region of the ionosphere. Fantastic. That is Dr. Alex Young from NASA. Thanks for joining us this morning. So that's the weather here and space and Earth. And what about the weather for your weekend? Dr. Postel has more on that.